comic books. This is your host, Andre Salazar, here at the Art of Comics. I'm going to do some comic books. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to roll up on some comic book this son. Um, I got like seven, nine, ten pages I got to do. I have them in kind of these, um, this little like breakdowns stage. I'm going to put them on actual papers. And uh, I was doing this, I was happy-go-lucky, but I thought maybe I should do a live recording, I don't know. It's been a couple days, maybe people care, maybe people don't care. Um, but I'm gonna do it, because I'm dumb. And the thing is, I'm, I'm wearing my new little headphones. I got these planners, which I really like from um, Hi Feynman, they're called Sundaras. Problem is, they're open back, which means music bleeds out. And the problem with that is my freaking music is going to bleed out. You guys might hear a little bit of it. And then YouTube is going to ding me. And they're going to be like, oh, you're copyrighted music. So I'm listening to Louis Prima, some jazz. I'm going to get dinged. And screw it. I don't care. Ding me. Don't monetize me. Whatever. I'll have to then, like, take the music out and all that kind of crap. I don't care. So I'm just going to do this because what the hell. So if you want to chat me up, chat me up. I'm right here. I see somebody watching. Write the freak now. So you, if you're watching this and you're not saying something to me, shame on you. Okay? He just left. So, or she. So that's fine. Just come in and bounce your butt out. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to play some music. You actually might hear it if you're live. Uh, if you watch this later, you might not hear it. That's okay, dude. Um, so, there you go. So that's what, that's what, this, is, that's what this is all about. So let's, uh, let's just start freaking drawing. So, um, boom. And you know, listen to some music that I'm gonna play and somehow y'all gonna get, get me in trouble. But I don't wanna, the problem is, is I don't wanna listen to my, the problem is is that I don't wanna like play my closed headphones. I don't have my closed ones. I mean, I have a couple closed ones, but I wanna listen to these because they're my new ones, right? So that's what I wanna listen to, so. So suck it up, okay. I mean, if I turn it down, it's not gonna make a difference because damn, damn sensors on these things are so strong. Okay, um, specifically, I was working on this little hand here. I didn't really like what was going on here. Can you guys see what I'm at? Every now and then I'm gonna like make sure that my camera can see you guys. All right, you can see what the hell I'm doing. I'm just blue lining this. I'll go and I'll ink it and do other stuff, of course, later. I think he did an expo on Wallwood. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, Jorge. I did do an episode on Wallwood. Um, it was about Canon. Uh, the, the, the little strip he did for the GIs back in, like, I think World War II. And um, I need to do more Wallwood. The problem is I don't have any more Wallwood. I need to get some more. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There's a... Uh, I think he did a one called Sally... Sally something or other. Um... So I need to, um, I need to do some of that, that business, but cause I do want to get, I, so he's on my list of books. I have a list on my Amazon account of like all the stuff I need to buy. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Wallywood actually. Uh, I spent a couple of weeks just like, just going through like hit the women, the way he draws girls, like faces and stuff. 
I just really like that kind of style. Okay, so yeah, I appreciate you uh, jumping in and saying that, brother. Okay, uh, so as far as this page goes, I think this is like good enough for what I need. I think we got what I want. I got my information. Now, let's move on to page two. Um, we'll do page two now. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through all these pages and then I'll um, go and pencil them. But I'm gonna first just do these kind of breakdowns. Oh, and you know what? I did a reference of my wife on this, now that I think about it. And uh, that kind of sucks because I realize that um, the f my phone, which is what I'm using to record this on, has my freaking thing. Son of a biscuit. Darn it. Um, what do I do, I wonder? What should I do? I guess I'll skip this panel because I want to use the reference photo in my camera for this one. So we're going to do a little skip around on that, on this one. Um, so we'll do okay. So that's the problem with using my freaking phone. Is it that? Okay, let's do this one and we can do this one pretty easy. And I think I might have a good picture of this Jeep. This Jeep's at, this not Jeep, it's a truck. This, this truck is like a, uh, it's a Ford, I think it's like a 53 or something like that. And uh, there's one, it's over here in Ventura. There's a guy, it's just, it's just on the, parked on the street down the road from me. And I saw it and I was like, okay, I gotta take pictures of this. I gotta take pictures of this, this uh, truck because it's just such a cool truck. So let me find my truck photos here in my Google Drive. Um, Hey, read some comments, bro. You gotta tell me what you're reading, brother. Give me the lowdown. Tell me what you're, what you got there, Danny. Uh, I'm reading, um, I'm reading, what am I reading? I'm reading the, was it Uzumaki? Uzumaki by Junji Ito. I'm about a third away through, and my gosh, I love that thing. So good. Okay. Um, such a good store. I really like Junji Ito's artwork. Really like it. Oh, you're oh you're reading Yusaji Yudimbo? That's funny because I read some of that Sunday, and I'm gonna do an episode of that, probably in like two or three weeks. I wanted to get through a couple more books. I really like Usagi uh, Yudimbo. I've never read it before. I mean, um, I met Stan Sakai a couple times. We sat next to each other at, at a con comic convention, so we chatted it up for a weekend. And, um, you know, I know he's kind of like a classic guy. And, and I think there's even like a TV show coming out, a cartoon. Um, but, so I, I found a couple volumes in a, at a swap meet. Uh, no Longer Human. I don't know that one. Is that, a, that must be a new one. Is that a new one? So I have Tomei, what do I have? Tomei smashed, uh, and then the, what, this one I'm reading, the uh, Uzumaki, and then I know he did Frankenstein, which I wanna buy, but I've never heard of uh, No Longer Human. I'll check that out. Okay, um, darn it, what's going on here? Where's my freaking truck? This is exciting for everybody. They're like, yeah. Can I watch this guy look at freaking folders? <laughs> yeah, man. Show me you going through folders on your freaking PC. Um, oh, hell's bells. Mother freaking.
This should be it. It's not it. Okay, keep looking. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Keep freaking looking. U.S. printing. Oh, yeah, so it was cause pretty recent. No longer human. Huh. Okay. I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely look for that one. Uh, again, I really like his horror. This is body horror. He's brilliant at it. It's, it freaks, it legit freaks me out. So kudos to that. Um, I think his rendering is, is really good and it's like simple or, or when I mean simple I, I mean in a much a, a very much a positive way it's just really freaking good um I think I know where my freaking images are that I was looking for I think he's, and he doesn't, um, oh, okay, it's your first Eva book, yeah, let me know what you think, I think definitely, uh, Tomei and Uzumaki are, are both so, so far brilliant, so I don't think you can go wrong with, with him, uh, that said, who knows, maybe he's no longer human, he jumped a shark, but I mean, I don't think he's going to, he seems to know what the hell he's doing. Meanwhile, I don't know what I'm doing because I can't find these damn pictures. The problem with file management, <laughs> it's like, if I just had drawers of everything, it'd be easy, right? But because it's all digital, and you got all these freaking files everywhere, you can't find nothing. You need to have a system. Two of them. Okay, this should be like 15. Okay, screw it. I'm tired. I'm annoyed by this now. I mean, look at this. Can I use this one? Yeah, we'll use this one here. Okay. Okay. Um, bop, 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 bop. Let's listen to another record. We listened to some Louis Prima. Now we're gonna listen to whatever the hell this is. I got this, like this was some neighbor dropped all this stuff off. Uh, Andy Williams. I have no idea what Andy Williams is. This could be jazz. This could be, I don't know what this is. There's steel guitar. Oh, harpsichord. Maybe this is like a country thing. I don't know. Let's check it out. I'm gonna do some Andy Williams here. Next up here on the. Uh, Sal's art spinning the hits, spinning the free freaking records here, which you're going to listen to because of my headphones slightly. And then YouTube's going to say, your video is blocked. And I'm going to say, well, just block out the sound. And everyone's going to wonder why some of the sound is blocked out in like every other 15 minutes. Okay. That's, that's what we're doing. Is it... Williams is a crooner? Well, we're going to find out here. Andy Williams, we're doing this. I'll tell you here. You, you probably will hear some of it. No idea. Just, just going through. I guess he's an A. I don't know why he's an A. Oh, you're right. This is croonery. <laughs> wow, you're, you're good, Amy. How'd you know that? How do you know this stuff? Shit. 
might not I might not be able to get through this whole album. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I kind of like that a little bit. Huh. Okay, we're getting there. He used to appear on talk shows. Really? When I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't, never heard of the guy. I mean, that doesn't mean much, right? There's so many guys that I've never heard of, but, yeah. Is that going to work? Yeah, this, I think this is working, kind of. Probably putting too much detail on this for now, but... I kind of like it. Okay. So we have, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I just realized I'm screwing this up a little bit. We might have to... This is supposed to be a little more... perspective drawing. And this be, certainly became a little funky, but it's okay. Try not to get bogged down by all that. Let me grind this little pencil. Or these are these are those. Uh, are you? Wait a minute, Damien. Really, you're. I didn't know you were that much older than me. Oh wow. Yeah, dude. That's way before my time. I thought you were like in your thirties or twenty nine, twenties or something. I didn't know you're uh, old school. I'm 47, so I was born in 73. That's my, uh, that's my era. So I know, like, Sonny and Cher's show when, like, Dick Cavett was, like, when I was a little, little kid. That's, like, the earliest. But, you know, Skip Wilson, I think some of those guys are around, but I never saw that as a kid. I mean, I was a Johnny guy, so I grew up with, like, Johnny Carson uh, when I was a little kid. But for some reason, I assumed you were younger. I don't know. I just, I just assumed anyone on like YouTube is like young, like younger than me. <laughs> Maybe just because of my kids <laughs> are always on it. So I'm like, oh, it's a good thing. So it's good to have someone with a little more um, understanding and age. Okay. Okay. Um, that's actually a little off, but. That's okay. I think it'll, it's, it's, it is what it freaking is. Okay, so what's going on here? We got Phil coming here. This is, uh, the, the story in these three pages is basically Sarah, who's the mother in this story, in this trailer park, um, broke up with this, her boyfriend, Phil, who's a trucker. They broke up a couple weeks ago. Well, he comes he comes stomping ass in, kind of with his mean drunk on, to kind of get her back in the middle of the damn night, and uh, that's not going to go over well. So, this is him being a jackass, and uh, Sarah kind of like giving him the right act, uh, which is kind of sad. But this kind of things happens where uh, you know. It's, Phil very much was a white knight in this story, and then, then he kind of like just loses it. And that's what happens sometimes in relationships where you just, uh, you just do something stupid. Gotta think about what I'm gonna put some trees in here too. We always gotta reference the fact that this is a trailer park and this is the like woods of Arkansas. 
And if you've ever been to Arkansas, there's trees everywhere. It is just kind of cool as a kid. Okay, and we'll do we'll do Sarah's little silhouette here. She's gonna be pissed coming in here. I'll tell you what, dude. One thing you never want to do. If a girl's, if you've broken up with a girl and you start trying to like, try to get in on that again, watch out. It might work, but if it don't work, you're gonna get it. <laughs> Sometimes, I've been divorced, so I, I'll tell you from my own experience, when the decision's been made in their mind, good luck, dog. Okay, something like that. What we'll probably do here is uh, I'll probably just silhouette this whole thing, but I'm gonna put some hair on her. Okay, we'll do something like that, and then we'll probably just like, maybe we'll put a, actually maybe it'd be fun to do like a screen time right there. Okay, nice, okay. Uh, so this is for my wife, we're gonna wait for my wife. This is pretty much done. I can go into pencils now basically and, and clean this up if I need to. You'll notice it's a little bit wonky. I feel like I should, yeah. Yeah, now I'm hearing the coronary stuff too. And he's like, not always alone. Okay. Next one here is uh, we got him drinking a beer and then we got a nosy neighbor. So let's do the nosy neighbor. It's kind of fun. Old Miss Potter. Name's Potter. Old Miss Potter's. Got to look in here and see what the hell's going on. Have you ever lived in a trailer park? you know that it's like, you know, everyone's like on top of each other. Uh, the whole idea is that there will be much gossip. So we'll do some. We'll do some old school round glasses. Can you guys even see this? I worry about, let me clean my screen. I feel like, uh, I think you can see, but I don't know. I wonder if uh, the blue line, if it doesn't even like register. Let me look on my screen here. I think it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't maybe. Let me see here. Where are we? Um, here we are. You can see fine? You can't hear the music? Oh, good. That's good. Let's hope that uh, the question will be, does YouTube? And YouTube's got some kind of like super sensitive like hearing. Because <laughs> they, uh, what was I playing? I played, uh, I don't remember. I was playing, it was actually a record. Oh, it was the Hateful Eight soundtrack. And there was a song from like the White Stripes. You know, the soundtrack is a, uh, is like, um, full, you know, fully orchestrated, you know, instrumental. But then there's this one section in the movie where they, they do this, like, I think it's a montage or something. And they have a white stripes thing. And uh, YouTube sensed it and they gave me a, uh, like, a, uh, we're cutting this video until you do something with the music. And I was like, really? You heard that through my 
headphones? And I was like, yeah, dude. We heard it. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of funny. You gotta, like, be careful. Or just gotta, like, have that. Oh, well. Not a big deal. I just... I just took it out, I think. I think it was somewhat easy. It took a couple hours to re-load uh, or whatever, but it's fine. Okay. I'll do something like this. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So... It is kind of, kind of boring, but we'll do that. Okay, and then him drinking this thing. I kind of, I had a couple. I don't, I don't like this. Of course, this is like uh, pretty raw. And I think I have somewhere. I have a, another. Oh, yeah, I got a couple other drawings of it, but I don't like any of it. Let me see if there's a good picture I can I can grab and get some get some ideas here. Um, I'm just gonna type in man drinking. Let's see what happens. Uh, beer. I'll put beer too, just to make a little extra, extra oomph on that. Can. Let's put can too. Actually, can might work better than anything. Cause it's gotta be a can of beer. It can't just be like a freaking beer bottle. Did they have? I've taken. I've used them. Oh, Ramon's song, yeah. Well, it's usually you know it's the companies, right? It's like the, it's like you know, um, not EA. Is it EA? I don't remember. But yeah, it's like RCA or some of these big companies are. Uh, well, I'm assuming they just like some algorithm that just automatically flags it, and you know, there's no human human person doing it, I don't think. I would assume. I used a, uh, years ago, I had a Sabotage by Beastie Boys <laughs> in a little home video I did on my, on my personal channel years and years ago. And it was up for a little while and then I think they probably made some changes to their algorithm and it got flagged and taken down. It's like, oh man, that was a perfect song for this. It was so fun. It was just like a fun little, fa you know, home family thing. It wasn't really meant for anything else. Uh, let me think. I actually like that one. Oh my God. I think I found a photo that I like. I think. Uh, it's not very manly. I kind of want to look like a big douche, but... No, it's fine. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Let's do this. Is it raining up there in Portland? It was, it's was. it been raining all week here. Uh, I think we're done, though. I think today was the last day of rain here. Um, but it was definitely raining a bit here in all uh, Ventura, California. Been cloudy and dry, huh? Oh, you get snow on Monday? Wow, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, we're done with that. We're done with uh, Andy uh, Williams. That's kind of fun. What is this? Let's do uh, the association. What is that? I don't know. Clint will win the A's of my thing. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do association, and then we might have to skip over to like uh, title or uh, Spotify. We'll put the phonograph. Away things, especially like that. That was kind of interesting. I don't know if I would play the story that one, Andy Williams, but it was again a free record. I just this neighbor just had a big old stack of records he was chucking, so I was like, I'll take a record. 
The Association. Sounds like some kind of a... Sounds like a spooky John Grisham movie or something, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's put this in. I need to get a new record player. I've got this really basic one, which, uh, it's, yeah, I probably need to get a nice one, but I don't know much about record players. And I know you can spend some serious bones on them. Like anything, right? Spend some serious bones on just about anything. Okay. Uh, okay, go, association. Oh, give it to us. I have no idea what kind of music this is. Oh, okay, it's kind of like a, what is this, 70, kind of a 70s thing? What is this? Let me look at the 60, what is this? Um, what is this? This is a uh, Burbank. The hell? Whoa, this music is funky. I don't know what this is. It's kind of a folky, kind of a fun whimsy, a kind of a whimsy rock and roll poppy stuff. I don't know. The fan club is in Pasadena. There's trumpets. It's like it's a whole band thing, so I don't know. Yeah, it's funky. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's... Yeah, look them up. It's like kind of weird. Yeah, it, there's a trombone in this. It's like a big, almost big bandy, but it's, I don't know. I have to think about what this is. Hmm. Almost feels kind of like monkeys or Beatlesy, you know. So I guess it would be rock and roll, but it's definitely kind of a fun element to it. Let me get this stuff all figured out. But okay, this cord is driving me crazy. Get out of here. Okay. Phil's got this big old beard. Poor Phil. Probably better that he's not part of this crazy family. Dodged a bullet. Sometimes you dodge bullets, man. You want something really freaking bad in life, like some broad, and uh, freaking dodge a bullet by not being a part of it. Yeah, the association's got tambourines. It's got a, yeah, it's like a 70, it feels like a 70s, 60s kind of thing. I can't find a date on this, but clearly I didn't look very hard, but. Is that gonna work? Yeah, kinda.
Ah, freak. Damn it. I do that every time with these pencils because it's, I just, um, I just put too much pressure on it. Wikipedia calls it sunshine pop. Sunshine pop? <laughs> now that I've never heard of. Sunshine pop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that, that, this feels like that. Sunshine pop. I mean, that seems like a monkey's is kind of like that, right? Not too far off the mark with monkey's comment. You know? Sunshine pop. Wow. Never heard of that one. That's pretty funny. Uh, I feel it, though. I feel that's pretty damn good. Description. Okay. How does that look? That looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. I might, we might be able to... If we just... Do this. If we ink it just right, it'll look okay. I give him some big forearms though, because he's a big old trucker mofo. Okay. So good. So that's page two. So we've done page one, page two. You guys see one? Here's page. Yeah, we did that. Page two. And let's do page. Three. Ugh. Page. That's page one, right? You saw that one already. It's page one. Now we're on page three. The last page in this scene, and we'll do the others. Finish this. Okay. Maybe '60s California pop is sunshine pop. Yeah, I mean, probably. That makes sense to me. Uh, I really like, I don't know if you've seen that movie, uh, Quentin Tarantino's latest, the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But a lot of that music was this kind of, you know, feel that kind of like the, the 60s, early 70s, you know, California radio stuff. This seems like this would be, be a part of that soundtrack. Uh, okay, what are we doing now? Okay, that's, now we're doing... We're doing this page. So it's one, two, three, four, five panels. We're gonna do a wide one with the close-up of Sarah, Phil. They're gonna have a little dialogue here. He's gonna throw an empty beer can at her. He's gonna, she's gonna be pissed. Uh, he speeds off and she's like, oh hell. What'd I get myself into with that jerk? Okay, so let's do that. And I think I have a couple more render drawings over here too that I can use. So I'll do that if needed. Okay. Yeah, I actually kind of like some of these here that I did. Okay. Um, so let's do it. Let me just scoop this up. Okay. We're going to have this bleed out her kind of. Excuse me. I drank a uh, one of those freaking monster drinks at nine thirty, which means I'll be up till one one thirty. It's like clockwork four hours, no matter what. So <laughs> I'm like, it's Friday. I don't gotta work tomorrow. I'm gonna stay up. I'm gonna pay for it. Cause I'm gonna do my freaking. Saturday chores like a damn teenager here, but in the morning, but other than that <laughs> It's like I got freaking chores man. Let me tell you that sucks Like me and the, me and the kids are like tortured by my wife to clean in the mornings on Saturdays Okay She doesn't watch this so that's okay She'd probably laugh if she heard me say it. She'd be like, yeah, suck it up. Mm, I might not, might not should have put that much detail in this when I have to change it. Because I'm feeling like that's a little too much. Hmm. 
Mm. A little too much of a pro side profile. I need to kind of cheat that out, I think, a bit more. I'm worried that that it's not going to really work. Yeah. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, will you ink these physically? No, I'll ink these physically. So um, what I'll do is the next step will be I'll put down some pencils on this. So just with my, you know, my little Mitsubishi or whatever. I'll pencil this in probably pretty still pretty loose and I'll ink these and then I'll I'll scan them and then when I scan them I'll might like touch it up a little bit um, and then color it digitally I having I haven't like scan these blue lines and then ink digitally um, why don't I do that let me think about this for a reason because I can actually digital ink just as well I think it's just really I like it. I enjoy physical ink. So I like doing the, the inking on paper. But to be very honest, there are times when I like have to redo it. So I'm like, ah, oh, it didn't really turn out right. So uh, digitally, I usually do like a second pass digitally. And that's just because of my ineptitude. But um, I just enjoy the inking process with with uh, physical physical media so that's that's what I that's what I do that I've done it a couple times where I just go straight from blue line up to digital probably probably is faster I mean I don't know it probably is faster to be honest but there's also some effects I feel like I can do easier physical just like you know some screen tones I like and some other things brushes and stuff uh, yeah it's probably where I got the impression you like digital inking yeah yeah cuz I think I, I have inked um, oh I know this song I know this song um, yeah, there are times when I have I have inked some stuff digitally, so yeah, you probably got that idea, like, oh, he likes to, yeah. But I, I like, uh... Like, you know, I really like doing those, those, it. remember those couple pages I did, uh... I did that Kirby little drawing over there, and I did that, uh... That, um, li uh, Rob Liefeld. That was kind of fun to just ink those, just like... That's kind of fun. I might try to find some more of those on those things. Uh, I don't know what to do with his hands, damn it. I just keep it in the beer. So I might go online and look for some more like little pencils of somebody that I can like ink. Just print them out on paper and do it again for the channel. It's kind of cool. Does that work? I think it does. Well, it's hard to tell. I was watching Eight and a Half today by Federico Fellini, and it's two and a half hours long, and I was going to finish it tonight, but I just... I just said screw it. I'd rather just do some drawing than work on than watch the movie right now. I'm gonna it's gonna take do a two day project for that movie. It's it's good. I've seen it before, but um, late at night, I need to like either do something or I'm gonna fall asleep. I can't read like subtitles. I'm a wuss. 
late at night, I'll just freaking zone out. So um, this will keep me awake. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that now. I need to, I really need to fix this. So, ah, damn it. Okay, let's get back to the racer. Let's fix that. I have, the problem with the blue doesn't really race good, but it doesn't really matter because it's blue and you're gonna draw over it anyway. But let me um. Oh, you know what? I have a reference of these positions on the head. Where did I do with that damn thing? Yeah, it's de it's very dense. It's it's basically it's really fast. I'm taking notes on it for a video I'm gonna shoot, uh, and probably I'll probably do it tomorrow night. It's you know a movie about a movie making a movie. It's it's really kind of one of these really cool meta ideas where he's he's putting all these surreal moments from his childhood and memories and imagery from. From different things, as well as telling a story of like a movie that is trying to get made, and it's about itself. It's really, it's really again, it's, it's meta. It's 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 really ahead of its time, and that's why it's probably highly considered, uh, so so well they thought of, and it's very, um, it's really, just beautifully composed. The imagery in it, the shots, the angles, the the, the figures, uh, just graphically, it's really pretty. Uh, and the black and white really helps the contrast. He's using a lot of like white and black, you know, backgrounds and, and clothing and stuff. Okay, um, be right back. I have to go into my living room and get a page. So one second. One second. I'll be right back. One second. This is what I was looking for, this guy. So this is coming from my, what? How am I in low power mode? It's not even been that long. This phone drives me crazy sometimes. Um, this is cool because this is actually the, uh, a page from that famous artist school that I'm, that I'm taking. Um, well, that I bought, that I'm kind of like going through. And um, it's just kind of a cool way to like look at positions of the head, right? And so it's nice to have all these different angles of the head and everything. So we'll see how, how long this phone lasts me because now I gotta charge it up and we'll see if it's gonna last. Who knows? Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, really cool kind of like page, and uh, I'm going to use it, and I'm going to come up with a better way to do this. Okay, let's, the records are done, we're going to move to, uh, we're going to move to digital items, so i going to switch out. My receiver, put in my cable into my DAC, and my DAC's hooked up to my amp, my tube amp. We're going to take, actually we're going to take off the tube amp, we're going to just go to the DAC directly. I'm becoming an audio guy. Yeah, dude, this comes from the, this is from 1960. I think the original came from like the 50s, 53, 54 is when the famous artist course came. And this is lesson six. And so 
Uh, I did a couple videos so far of them, so you can look at them in the channel, but they were made as a male correspondence art course that were uh, 24 lessons that you would do an assignment, send it in to New York, and the artists like Albert Dorn or Robert Fawcett or Al Parker would go through them, give you notes back and send back the notes. So really, really cool thing. And you can buy these, you can find these on eBay. I found them. You can find the, um, the, the big binders. So it's really freaking cool. So, um, I'm all about it. Okay. Um, let's go to do some music. What are we listening to? We're going to do some classical, but... Oh, sorry. Whoa, man, this sounds so much better than that record. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. When you go to digital, to that analog, maybe my record player is just like really bad. Because that sounds really good. Okay. Um, oh, I want to listen to some Pink Floyd. You know, I want to listen to a little bit of Pink Floyd. We're going to do Pink Floyd. And I'm going to get deemed on that hard. But, you know what? Screw it. Um, I want to listen to that album. I've never really listened to it. I think it's called Melody. Where is it? Is it Melody? Yeah, Metal. Metal. Let's, let's give it a shot. I don't know it. I just know they're really. I the only thing of, of theirs I know is just the uh, dark side of the moon on. So I know dark side of the moon. Wish you were here. Animal at the wall. That kind of stuff. I don't know the earlier works. So we're gonna learn now, and we'll see what happens. Okay. So knowing what we know, we're changing this look, and we're gonna really go for probably somewhere in between here. For this, for this face here, I it just looked too much like a profile, and just don't want that. So I just kind of want these. Yeah, I don't think I'm, it's not gonna like change too much what I was gonna do, but Again, this maybe what I'll do is um, I could do this all in silhouette too. Again, another silhouette on this. Uh, I'm not sure. And I, I really did like the idea of putting a hand, like a pointy, like you mother of effort, right? What are you doing here in the middle of the frickin' night? I just got to make sure that that works with. The, you know, I worry that it might have to be really big. Like a damn Kirby hand. You know, he used to do those big ass hands. I might, I'm not sure. I might have to play with that actually a little bit. Let me just, let me just, let me just give me just a quick second. Let me just look at this, how this works. Okay, there's that. I'm just doing different versions of it. Just wanna see. I like this lower one when it goes a bit lower. I think here, 
I don't think it would work right. I think it does need to be lower, like here. I like that better. But let me change the size of that too. What if I did this? Yeah, I, I feel like it needs to be stretched out, actually. So, yeah. But I think I think we're gonna have to stretch this, this stretch this mofo out a bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Those of you who are here with us, um, I appreciate it. We do have a uh, comment. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. And then let me just like fully draw this. If it's like this and she's like, what the hell? Yeah, it would go, it would like, maybe she'd go like this. I don't know. I maybe we'll just want to put the damn hand. I'm not sure. I'm. I like it, but I don't like it. So let's just put a pin in that, so to speak. I got other other crap to do here. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, do I need Bluetooth? I do not need Bluetooth. Let's just get rid of that. There. Okay. Uh, okay. Where was I? Okay. I'm here. I need to do these two. These two mamas. And uh, I had a nice little drawing of that actually right here. Yeah. Over here. Okay. Let me pop this over here so I can look at it. Okay, so far there's no words in this album, this this metal, uh, this Pink Floyd metal. Yeah. It, all right, is it, oh, here we go. No, there's words. Here we go. Huh. Pup can hear this now. I like this. Man, these headphones. Just these damn things. Okay. Um... Sometimes I do these really good drawings and then I gotta like redo them and it's like, damn, can I just keep what I have done? And it's like, sometimes you can never recapture that magic. Now I'm, I recognize I could just, I could just sit here and scan all these little pieces and cobble it together. I've done that before, but it's also kind of a pain in the neck. It just and it's also just nice to have it all on one page because you can uh, you know if you wanted to sell it or whatever not that I'll ever sell this stuff but you know I don't know it's just nice to do it like a like a big boy but Okay, we're getting there. It's kind of weird looking at myself draw this, I'll be honest. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. I appreciate you all watching me not know what I'm doing. Because that's kind of cool. Okay, that actually doesn't look horrible, horrible.
How are we doing this? Are we doing like that? Should he back like that? Or should he be like that? No, if you throw it, I feel like he should be more like this. Like he's like chucking that mofo with his freaking gut. Yeah, dude. You gotta have the belly. Nothing wrong with the belly. Nothing wrong with the belly. Gotta have that belly. Ah, mother. Did you guys see that? Damn it. Okay. I actually kind of like that. It's kind of fun. Reminds me of my grandpapa. He is a, he was a big boy. He liked food. <laughs> there we go. I like food too, shoot. I'm not against it. Oh, that belt is funky now though. If I put the, we gotta put the belt like this if we do that, pants. Okay, that's kind of fun though. Should I do the other hand? Oh yeah, we gotta do the, the other hand is like this. He's like. Oh yeah, we should have his chest out. We never really thought about that. We should really make a shirt. It's like just all, yeah. In fact, I'll put a little, put a tiny bit of pencil in that just so that I can remember that that damn shirt is just hanging off him. Yeah. Sometimes I just gotta do that just to, just to see it. You know, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, I kind of like that actually. And then her, and then I think I'm gonna, I think we'll do something like this. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to decide how I wanna illustrate that. And I do like the idea of Sarah just getting, just like, what the freak? <laughs> Throwing a damn beer can at me? Cause I told you off, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Um, I never witnessed things like, this is a made up, this is a made up part of the story. I never witnessed my, my mother, uh, you know, doing that. Oh, I like this song. What is this song? Uh, oh, Fearless. Pink Floyd, Fearless. On metal. Yeah, I like this song. Kind of nice. I shouldn't have done that. I need to worry about the figure more and not worry about these details. It's like number one rule of drawing and gesture drawing is get the shape down before you start farting with the details. Remember, does she have a robe on? What does she have on? And she's got a robe. Yeah. Okay. It's a little a little boob hanging out there. We're gonna have to call. I'm gonna put that boob away here, everybody. Just relax. Uh, let me think. That hand is going to be out this way, maybe? Let me think. I'm not sharpen this sucker. Where's my sandpaper? Uh, where's my... Sandpaper, sandpaper. Uh, what did I do with my... Damn it. No, I don't know where it is. I'll just sharpen it up. 
Okay, uh, where were we? Yeah, let's get this little positioning here. Okay, I kind of like that, right? It's kind of fun. Oh yeah, we do gotta fix that a little bit. So that positioning was a little funky. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like this one. That'll be fun. Every now and then I. I like it at this stage, but then when I finish it up, I don't. <laughs> okay, uh, what do we got next? We got two more little, we got to do this guy and this here. And then I think we are good to go. And I like those, let me put this right here. Mm. Okay. Then this is the, sh the truck driving off, right? Yeah, this is the truck driving off. So I'm thinking about doing a new film project. I've been I've been wanting to do some film for folks, oh, hell, years and years. But um, um, I'm really seriously thinking about it. Um, what does that mean? I don't really know yet. I my problem is I don't really have a. I don't really have a story that I feel is easily told with my abilities, with my budget and team that I can gather easily. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. And I just need to find a story. You know, I'm not against doing even like a documentary, something like that, but I want to get in, I want to do some more film. Um, I just got to figure it out. Just haven't figured it out yet. So, that's it. I'll let you guys know all about it, though. I'm sure, I mean, once I get rolling on it, you'll all be hearing about it. Uh, either through my, those of you who are Patreon members, or even on the channel, I'll probably talk about it every now and then, talk about what I'm going to do, but... I want like to, it'd be nice to make it easy to kind of stay locally or someplace I can drive. I just got to figure out what, what I want to say. And that's the hardest thing always, right? Just what do you say? What's, what, what needs to be said or what? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've done a little directing and writing, um, years ago I directed a, a 40 minute film you can look it up it's um actually I'm gonna look it up I'm gonna put it, put it in the comments oh it's called After Sherry After Sherry uh let us see if we can find it oh boom there it is ha ah, that was easy here here's the film I did uh a little while back and so very much kind of like a student film, uh, but it was such a really, it was just a great experience. And uh, I want to do another, I want to do something else now that I'm a little older and maybe have some new new chops on storytelling. And it really was just the, the funnest I've ever had in my life, to be honest. I mean, that's, that's really what it goes to. You know, comics are, comics are awesome. I love comics. But comics are also a very solitary process, and uh, I'm a very social person, and so I need I need that social that social quality that social kind of collaborative element to stuff. So I'd like to. So that's that's where I'm coming at with that. So I'd like to do something.
And if I could just ink that like that, I would, but, and I guess I could just digitally strengthen it. Okay, let's do this last one here of Sarah on the other side of the door, just being beat down and, and just like exhausted from this guy's bad behavior. So yeah, I hope I can do a, a new film sometime this year. I just gotta, again, figure it out. Okay. It'd probably be a, sh I mean, I'm gonna start with just a short, just a little, I had this one about like a Lord of the Flies, kind of like a modern tale of Lord of the Flies, but it requires, a, you know, requires a number of kids actors, which I really want to actually work with kids and do that, but it just makes it a little more challenging. And I feel like if I'm going to kind of get my feet wet again in this, in the, in the medium, I don't know if I want to like deal with like kids. I kind of would rather go with something a little bit simpler and just do something with adults. Um, at least until I just kind of get back in the groove of it. If that makes sense. I don't know. I live here by the beach. So I, I live by some beautiful places, which I feel like I should kind of take advantage of because there's a lot of places that don't have this kind of, you know, beauty and in, in area. So um, there's there's that. But I like sad movies. <laughs> My wife's always makes fun of me because I'm always like sad things. So, um, whatever I do, it'll probably be sad to a degree or some kind of melancholy. I'm trying to show that she's like her shoulders are. I don't know if that works or not. This doesn't even sound like Pink Floyd, by the way. It's very... That feels a little too stiff though, huh? Maybe a little bit more of an angle in that. And maybe it should be more like this. Cut slightly. I'm totally cheating because I'm using pencils right now, but it's okay. <laughs> I feel like it. <laughs> I can cheat if I want to. It's my book. Okay, we'll do something like that. Okay, yeah, that looks. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with that. So we got. What do we got here? We got one. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this here. 
we got going on, brothers and sisters. Okay. Uh, we've got page one. Page dos. And page... Oh, that's something else. Page three. Okay. Now, that scene is done. But we're not done. Oh, no. Oh, no. We still got crap to do. We're not going to be done until this thing is 300 pages, you guys. We're going to be here until 2025 or some crap. Okay, so... So, buckle up. <laughs> buckle up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a long ride. <laughs> you, <laughs> that's a horror movie for you. It's like you just wanted to watch some guy do the drawing one time on YouTube. Now you're like locked in. You can't leave. Some I need to write that down. Somehow you're trapped watching this freaking YouTube guy, and you gotta keep watching until he's done with the project. <laughs> and it's like no. That'd be kind of fun. There's some logistical or like logical questions that people would have about it, but it would be kind of fun, like trapped in a room watching someone draw for four years. Okay, page five, four, three, two, and frickin' one. Did we do these? Oh yeah, you guys. Were you guys here when I did this? I don't know if I showed you these. This is um, one, two, th huh? One, two, three, four. There's one somewhere. Uh, this is gonna be like a kind of a Darwin Cook like little dream sequence with uh, the main character Andy with his father. Um, I think this is gonna be kind of fun. So I need to like finish that up and ink that. We'll do that next as well. But let me um, keep, let's get on these papers for this craft fair scene. So after that breakup, you know, uh, Sarah, the mom, is gonna take her little boy, little seven-year-old boy to a craft fair, a little like craft fairs. They're pretty popular in Arkansas, at least in the 80s they were. I mean, they have craft fairs everywhere, right? But uh, like, you know, I know Oregon's got some major craft fairs. Like, my daughter's over there in Eugene. Always talk about the Eugene County Fair and blah, blah, blah. So there's always some cool craft fairs. But in the south, there's some pretty badass craft fairs there, too. Usually in the spring, summer, when it's not crazy weather. Although it gets pretty hot there in the summer. Uh, so... So there's that. Okay. Um, now, I have these pages actually worked out, too. So I need to get that out. Somewhere I do, at least. Yeah. So, uh, these are all worked out. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this panel is actually on a different piece of paper because it's kind of big. So these two are on another paper. So this one, this is a photo that's on this camera. So I can't get that photo out. So we'll just skip this page and we'll go right into this page because this one I can do. Um, I need some reference for this little banjo playing, this little bl bluegrass band. So we'll skip this until I can get those references. And then we'll do the craft, we'll do the um, banjo. Banjo play and stuff. So let's, let's go to, uh, get ourselves a good picture of a banjo. Banjo play. See what we get here. Uh, I want bluegrass is what I want. Oh, that guy's perfect. Oh my gosh. This guy's the best. 
Yeah. Here, I'll even show you what I'm talking about. For some reason, I love seeing thumbnails. Yeah, dude. I do too, actually. I feel like no one can read my thumbnails, but I like thumbnails too. If I could do a comic of just all my thumbnails, if there would be a way to do that, I think that'd be so freaking cool. <laughs> Cause I'm into the thumbnails. I like, I just feel like, oh yeah, that's what this is happening. I don't know. I'm totally with you, Damien. Like hundred percent. Um, yeah, big time. I'm into it too. Okay. Let me do this banjo guy here. What do I, um, let me think about this. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, we're gonna do some banjo picking. What is it? Uh, one, one, two, three. Should be a fourth digit here, I believe. I need to go to the grocery store tomorrow. <laughs> like my highlight of my Saturday. We have like no food in this freaking house. <laughs> and I gotta go to the grocery store. Like, that's what I'm talking about at like midnight. It's like, yeah, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to the damn grocery store. So is a banjo just like a tambourine on top of a guitar? It looks like a freaking tambourine. This little like, does it have these little metal tambourine things? Looks like, kind of like that, doesn't it? Okay. I'm just gonna do it like that. This little fretboard here. And then, uh, yeah, we gotta put some. Oh, I feel like I should. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, we gotta do the we gotta do the overall so you know that it's overalls there. You gotta have that. So like, okay, we gotta have some overalls in this business. So you know what we're talking about. You see overalls in the banjo, you know this is bluegrass. There is no doubt as to what this image means, what it represents in our lexicon of imagery. Um Okay. So there, so that's that. Actually I kinda like that a lot. I'll probably screw it up when I ink it, but okay. Now we're gonna zoom out and show this little like this little this little um band, you know, it's these little fairs. You always have these like really cool like live live performances and stuff. Hey, I see a couple of new people coming in. Thanks for joining me. I'm working on a comic book called Shangri-La States, a crime story in the 1980s in Little Rock, Arkansas, follows a son and mother uh, after divorce, move to this little sleepy trailer park and get embroiled in a crime story unlike no other, like no other. Um, that's what I'm saying, at least. So that's... That's what we're working on. And they're at a little uh, craft fair here. So we're just doing the, this is deleter paper and I'm just doing the uh, rough blue lines and then we'll go in and do all the fancy drawing and inking later. Tonight it's just breaking it out. I feel like people like to see the inking more because it's um, it's just kind of funner to to see the more finished product, probably easier too. 
But today, it's not what we're doing. And I gotta do this, so uh, I might as well do it now and you guys can join in and watch or come back when it's cooler. Tomorrow, oh, by the way, you guys, since I've got a decent number of you, you gotta stick around for tomorrow. To, uh, I guess it'd be today or tomorrow, Saturday. Um, I got a new video coming out that I'm really excited about. It's doing comment, we're doing a commentary, me and my buddy Ariel are doing a commentary of this BBC documentary of Mobius. And so those of you who know Mobius, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know Mobius, then you need to go figure him out. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we're doing this really cool, like, we got a link to the documentary. It's like a BBC thing they did years ago in the, like, the 90s. And we're uh, going to be freaking talking about it while the while it's going so I'm real excited about that hopefully it, hopefully it works for everybody um, so that'll be a lot of, that'll be a lot of fun to to kind of show everybody hopefully you get a kick out of it okay um, bluegrass fan let's write this down bluegrass I thought I had a reference to this but I don't bluegrass fan Okay, I really like this this album. This is nice. And we're gonna switch now. We're gonna switch to something a little more peppy because that uh, was a little moody. Bop 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 bop. What are we gonna listen to right now? Hmm. We won't do hip hop. sound good. These headphones, I'm telling you. These are nice headphones. Okay. My ears are getting a little like sweaty in there though. Might hear this a little bit. Sorry, if it offends you again. Apologies. Okay, uh, I need sit. I need a band picture of them sitting down on like some bales. Okay, I'm just hang on. Bluegrass band, ba hay hay bales. No, I'm sitting. I want a blue dressing. Oh, hey, thanks, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. You're the you're the best. I'm even gonna type it in. Thanks, brother. Have a good night. Sleepy. Appreciate you kicking it with me for a little bit. Okay. Now that he's leaving, that I'm requiring the other four of you. You gotta talk to me, okay? If you don't talk to me, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to, um, I have to do something negative to myself. <laughs> no, that was fine. I won't do anything negative. I'm very positive. Okay, do I need a singer in this? Well, I kind of want a big old hossy guy. We're gonna do like a big old freaking. I actually do like that. <laughs> Kind of fun. Okay.
does that work? That works. shorts just to kind of be weird mm. am I doing this too close no I just need to make sure I like showing that he's like let me go back to this picture what is he sitting on I don't really know mm. I need like a fiddle player, right? Yeah, we got a fiddle freaking player, dog. Come on, dude. You can't do, we can't do, oh, I also want, no, let's do fiddle. Cause I just feel like fiddle looks cool. Let's do, uh, fiddle player on this side though. Let's see here. Okay, we're gonna have a bio break. One second. Okay, one second. We're gonna have a little bio break. So everybody think tight. Think tight. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. What's up, everybody? I see a few folks are here. Welcome. I'm doing a graphic novel called Shangri-La. It's a crime story in the 80s of a trailer park in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, we're doing the blue line drawing coming from some uh, thumbnails. I did these thumbnails here. I'm working on this one. I'm going to do these five different pages. And I'm putting them on actual papers now, on the boards themselves. And so that's what I'm doing. And right at this very moment, I am looking for an image of a fiddle player that I can use. That's what I'm doing at this exact moment. So I've got my little happy-go-lucky freaking Google images here, which, by the way, is a horrible way to look for reference. So, if you cannot use this, 
I say do that. Normally I don't, but it's almost midnight and I want to. So do as I say, not what I do. Is <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll do this one. I'm up late. What's up, dude? I'm up late. Can't sleep, so I'm tuning in. Well, thank you very much, Kingdom. You can't sleep? Hey, man. That sucks because sleep is important and nobody, it, no freaking, there's no winners in insomnia, okay? It's like divorce. There's no winners in that business. So I hope that you uh, get it worked out soon. But I am glad you, you're kind of kicking it with us. That's kind of fun. So that's kind of cool. Hang on. Go back. I didn't know where to put that song. Let's do that again. Okay, so where are we? Okay, we're doing this little drawing of this. Not a huge fan of this image, but. I did a three hour live inking last night. I was going to do one tonight, but I've drank all day, so I had to hold off. Yeah. Take a break, bro. Take a break. Take a break. I was supposed to draw all day today. I did not draw all day today. And I was watching a Fellini film, set eight and a half, which I was going to review on this channel in a couple weeks. And I got halfway through, and I was just like getting tired. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to draw because of. I don't draw, I'm gonna fall asleep watching this film. And I don't wanna do that because I really like it. But I uh, also, I still like doing this, so. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't do the drawing that I was planning on it. Sometimes afternoons are really hard for me. So, that's the way that, okay. So that's, that's good enough for now, for these guys. We'll probably put some trees. We're gonna put some leaves. I've gotta remember your kingdom. Uh, can I look you up? No, you're not showing up real easily. You said you did a, I wanted to check out your um, channel. I'll have to do that later. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute, is this got a panel? Oh no, this is not, this goes bleed. This goes bleed out, so. Yeah, that's perfect then. And we're gonna do these little leaves here. Do that. Yeah, that'll be nice, okay. I like that, I like that a lot. Son of a bitch. I'm breaking these freaking pencils constantly. Drive me crazy. It's my fault too. Okay, now we're gonna, so, close up banjo out to the thing now out even further and now we're going to see our characters so now we're going to and we're going to put it off to the side i don't like things in the right in the middle uh well i like this song what is this song Oh no, that is the stage, right? Yeah, we want to do this little, little round stage. So they're gonna be here.
That's kind of nice. And then uh, we might have to put some booths in the back too, right? Yeah, we'll do that later. We'll, we'll worry about that. Actually, let me see here. I did some drawings ahead of time. I wanted to make sure I captured what I wanted to. Oh, that's right. Okay, still good. We're good. So, I'm just going to do these little bales. Oh, final fifth page promo art for, cool, love it, that's awesome, dude, I'm a big fan, I've done Indiegogo, and I've done, I've done eight or nine Kickstarters, how many, I think it's eight, I think it's eight, I've done eight Kickstarters, so uh, I'm familiar with the, the um, crowdfunding deal, so if you ever need any, like, questions or anything shoot them over because i've done it a couple times unless you've done a bunch and you're already a master or whatever but yeah i'm happy to give you on my iPad and I'll do it all in fact Boaz another book I was working on that is all digital first 
digital roughs, and then I go from digital roughs to to um, comics. I go digital, and then I um, print out those kind of refined pencils, and then I'll I'll print them on blue line paper, right? And then I'll just ink that. I've also done reverse where I do it all like this and then I'll scan this in and I'll ink this, ink the blues. Or sometimes, like I'm doing this, it's all traditional, the whole damn thing. So pencil, pencil, ink paper, then scan it. And then usually, even after I scan it, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna freaking clean it up a little bit. So, so it really doesn't matter what step I go digital, I'm gonna wind up being digital in the end, I'm gonna wind up tweaking it. So whether I ink it digitally or I ink it on paper, I'm gonna wind up going back and re-inking it at some point. So maybe I should do it all digitally, but I like the paper. So um, I've tried this a million ways on speed, and so I've I'm gonna do this with this. I, I do different things for different stories, like. This story, I think, is just kind of fun for me to do it this way. So I want to do this kind of traditional, but I do like um, doing different stuff. Okay, let's see here. So this is... Oh, wait. Shoot, I think I got a picture of my wife here, so I might not, oh shoot, what do I want to do? Do I, nah, my, 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 let me think about this. I think, uh, I think it's okay. I was gonna, I have a drawing, I got her to pose in this cowboy hat, but I might I'll just do like a quick little, uh, let's see here. Same here, then I scan the final inch of credit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, no matter what I do, I'm gonna wind up redrawing shit. <laughs> Not always, but I mean, I often redraw something. I'm like, oh, I... What I try to do is let it just like sit, marinate a little bit, once I get some time away from it, and then I'll like, okay, now I see this problem or whatever. Shoot, am I? No, I think this is okay. What is she wearing? I can't remember what Sarah's wearing in the scene. Um, is it just a t-shirt? Oh, I talked about doing overalls, but I don't think I'm gonna do overalls. No, I'm not gonna do overalls. I, I kinda like that idea, but I don't think we're gonna. But I think I might give her braids. down just a little bit okay I don't know when my camera's gonna die on me it says it's got low battery but I have no idea at what point that's gonna be the case just, just at some point it's gonna like be gone so if I suddenly just like leave because I got some okay Okay. 
Okay. Um, you did. You're the best. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, it doesn't change my world necessarily, but I hope you find some things that you might enjoy. I mean, you're a comic book uh, fella, so I think you might enjoy it. So that's cool. I appreciate that part of the deal. So that's cool. It's kind of funny, like, comic books, you know, I was just thinking about this today, it's like, yeah, you can have a comic book thing that's like, you know, really popular, and talk about comics, and review comics, and make comics, but it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to get super successful at YouTube and have, like, what, a uh, hundred... 100,000, maybe, you know? If you're really popular, 100,000, you know, 110,000 subscribers, which, you know, can translate into some money when you talk about, like, ads and such. But there's, like, you know, there's these guys who, revo who review a damn toy who have, like, 3 million. You know what I mean? Or... Or, you know, uh, uh, some kids that are, like, making Legos in their house. Like, their whole damn house is a Lego thing that have, like, millions. So, it's, like, comic books and, like, reviews of stories or books and stuff like that. It's, like, such a small niche thing compared to, like... Like, I guess, entertainment or, you know, the fun stuff that people like on that. I don't know. It's just, um, it's, if your goal is to get subscribers and maybe make money off that, I would say comics is not the topic you want to do. That's what I would say because... It just it just isn't. It just ain't the that's that's not the one you want. You want to get uh. You want to like do something creative, make some kind of funky. Little stories or something, or. Do something for kids or whatever. I don't know. I actually like that face. What do you know? Every now and then I do something that I really like. That face looks really nice right there. I I feel uh, very, very good about that. Yeah. When I like it really good, I'll just pencil it right away just so that I don't lose it. Okay, um, and he's, he's got a fork, right? He's eating, yeah. He's got some food in his freaking belly. There we go. Uh, let me think about this. Uh, this is right hand, so this is something like that, maybe. I know sequential art is hard, and so a few people can do it well, but somehow it doesn't get the respect it deserves. When I went to college, the art professor didn't seem to care much. Yeah, dude. Um, I, I went to college, and I only took, I took three art classes when I was an undergrad, 
I graduated in a different topic. So I only took the first couple, you know, life drawing and, and stuff like that, anatomy and stuff. Um, my art teachers were pretty, pretty supportive of it. But yeah, I totally can see that. The problem is comics are so different. I mean, it, it, it's funny. If you go into illustration and like ad work, you know, a lot of those early guys were comic book guys. You know, but nowadays it's a, a different kind of field. Um, yeah, I know what you mean, and it's unfortunate, but a lot of people don't do comics because it's hard and because it takes so much damn time. And it's like they would rather just do a painting, right? I could do a painting of a dragon and sell it for a book cover or a you know a role playing game thing. And that would be more lucrative and easier to do than sequential pages. I mean, if you think, of, just think about, you know, we're talking about doing these damn comics. Well, each of these is an illustration. This is an illustration. This, you know, so each panel is a drawing in itself. Each panel has to have all those elements of art. And, and you have to know how to position everything and perspective and everything. I mean, it's like there's so much to draw in a comic book. And it's not easy. And it is a freaking hard as hell. And I think, um, yeah, like like you just said. It. I mean, it's just like it's really hard and, and it's not something that... Uh, I think it's better than it was like 30 years ago as far as like, you know, these are for kids. Uh, but even even today, it's just like, oh, you read comics. Yeah, I heard that they turned your comic book. I heard they, you know, HBO is doing Sandman. HBO is doing uh, Usagi Ujimbo. HBO is doing Invincible. HBO is doing Walking Dead. HBO is doing... So it's like, yeah, these shows on Netflix and everything are just grabbed from comics but ain't nobody going and reading the comics. Everyone who's going to be watching American Gods, well, American Gods was a novel first, but, you know, you're watching, uh, you know, Sandman. They're not going to go back and read the damn Sandman comics. I bet you a hundred bucks. Now, the only, the only one I think they did do is maybe Walking Dead. I can see Walking Dead being so damn popular that people went and bought the books because of the show. But I bet that's like the only one. I bet no one's going to read Invincible comics because of the Invincible cartoon. They're just going to watch the damn cartoon. And it's just like, it's because people don't read. And I say that with love, but that's the truth. It's just like my, my kids will... They'll play a video game. Hey, and I'm not about to dog video games. I love video games. I played one. I play them all the time. But, you know, they would rather do something more passive, you know, like play a video game or watch TV than to read. Read takes a little more effort, a little bit more, you know. That's my total my thought. So, um, you know, take that for what that is. My, my little comment on life. This damn cowboy hat is going to be the death of me. Luckily, I have a cowboy hat that I can reference, but it's just like... Cowboy bats are... Yeah. <laughs> Video killed the radio. That's funny. I mean, and I don't... King, I'm going to call you King. King, King. I don't want everyone to think I'm some old-ass man who's like, ah, get off my lawn. But, you know, hey, man. I love Nintendo. But, you know, maybe it did kill the comic. I don't know. I mean, 
that said, people still read. People still read books and stuff, but I don't know. I'll try to be more positive. But yeah, that's what it is. Kind of feel, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of in the zone right now. It usually takes me about an hour. How long have I been doing this? Two hours? A little over two hours. So I kind of feel like I'm getting in the zone. I'm feeling like uh, I'm getting a couple of nice little little, little drawings in here. I kind of like this already. That's kind of nice. So I feel like I'm in the zone here. That's good. This is a good thing. Now, of course, I will go to bed and then look at this and be like, dude, what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> I gotta do the one eyebrow raise. Okay, so King is talking to me, but there's a couple of the people that are not talking. And uh, I don't hate you guys, but y'all need to be saying something to me. Or maybe you're just listening and you can because, like, your wife's next to you in bed or something like that. So I guess I'll give you a bit of the doubt. So never mind. I won't bust your, bust your balls on that. But, you know... I haven't really watched any TV either. I just like, you guys know, I just do this, right? I come home, <laughs> I do this for a little bit. I do watch a couple movies every now and then, but it's like, I'm not really. Oh, I'm reading this uh, book on um, Oliver Stone. His, uh, it's called Chasing the Light. I, I like Oliver Stone. I know a lot of people don't like his stuff, but I actually do. So, um... I'm uh, watching his, or listening to his book. Um, I'm really enjoying it. In fact, that's what I should be doing is listening to that because I got fit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I've just destroyed this bit. Oh, the bit has gone. Oh, man. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, good. I got more. Okay, good. I was like, no. It's because I'm putting way too much pressure on this damn thing. And this arm is all effed up, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Okay, we'll worry about you later. I'm not gonna worry about you right now. I gotta fix it though. Okay, what's next? Uh, yeah, and then there's, she's like, can I borrow? This is like, this is actually true. Happened to me all the time. My mom would always be wanting my freaking food. And as a little kid, it drove me freaking batty. So she'd be like, oh, can I have some of that? And I'm like, no, it's mine. <laughs> oh, I was mean to my mom. I wouldn't share with my mama. And she would get pouty and she'd get really pissed that I wouldn't share and I would and I was a jerk. And so I feel bad about that. So I may I'm trying to make up to her by making a comic book about it. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay.
We'll do the anime, just like tiny dash of a mouth. <laughs> okay, and we'll do here. He's like pouty too about it all. Okay, that works, that works. And then what are we gonna do for the, yeah, we'll just do this here. Okay, there we go. That works, that works. I like it, I dig it. I actually kinda think that's fun. That's pretty fun, okay. Uh, let's go to page two, three. Here we go, page freaking three. Here we go, let's do it. Let's do it everybody. Let's do it players. Okay, if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know this story or you're interested in this story, I'll do a little PSA for you. This is all on Patreon. This is on my Patreon page, patreon.com backslash Andres J. Salazar. That's me. And this is basically, this whole story is on there for $1 and we're on page 65 or something like that. So you get a lot of comics for that. Plus you get all my other comics. I got Boaz and Nagual, a bunch of other stuff. So we're just doing it for a buck. now. You can pay more and you can get other things like I send out like card copies of stuff too. But uh, generally speaking, not. okay. Uh, what do we got? Oh, this is. Oh, snap. I know what this is. I know what this page is. This is, um, this is that big pain in the book. This will be okay, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I gotta do some, we're doing some perspective here. We're doing an isometric, isometric spot here on this one. Let me uh, go right here, okay. second give myself just a m moment to breathe here I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this freaking thing okay here we go Are you ready okay
trying to change this screen a little bit, guys, so sorry. Every now and then, we're going to do a little, like, station, whatever. Okay, uh, and then we're going to go like this, right? I'm just like, so what I'm doing, I'm doing perspective, and the vanishing line is, like, way in the hell out there. And I'm just, like, drawing these out a little bit, just to kind of, like, start getting what I'm doing here. Now, I don't know how, I don't really want to break out the ruler. I mean, i got a ruler here. I could sit here and fart with it, and I might, but I'm going to just start with this. Well, maybe I will actually do it. <laughs> just said I wasn't going to. Um, hang on, where's my ruler? My other one, my long one. There we go. When in doubt. And see with this and then so what we could do basically is all these can be parallel right so everything here is parallel and so the two lines that are going to be curved are going to be these here going this direction and these going this direction and everything is this straight so that's what's nice is like it's just gridded out okay and it should in theory look okay now this is like more of a straight up perspective now we could curve it and we can like really play around with it i'm not gonna do that but you totally can so you can totally like really play with it and same thing with these guys and i'm just because but basically all i gotta do really just we're just making blocks we're just making like blocks Right, so, you know, we're just doing blocks here. Because the craft fair basically just has these rows of booths, right? So, just like a Comic Con, but it's a you know craft fair in a park, basically. So I just kind of keep this going like that. We're just setting things up. Hopefully, this looks okay. Problem is, is like I'm gonna have some freaking dialogue here. So uh, there is an element of I'm doing a little, but maybe a little more work than I need to because my dialogue is gonna f up the, just some of the art. So there's that thing to think about too. But I'm not gonna. I've done it before where I do all the words first, and I know some people do that. Um, and in theory, that does save time. But here's the problem. I change the dialogue often enough to where I like, I can't really say, okay, this dialogue is what we're going to use. And, you know, so sometimes I change it up, you know what I mean? So that's, that's the thing.
There we go. That works. Trick is a little tricky with these trees, because the trees... I think the trees work. Okay, I think that works. Let me think, let me just, I think it's working. I'm not, I'm not positive, 100%, I think it is. Again, I'm gonna have to just let it like marinate a bit, in my, my, my noodle. Yeah, okay. Okay, they're very basic. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna take me like probably an, an hour just for this freaking thing, um, which is fine. Um, yeah, dude, what do we got going on here? We got four people watching this, four people. One is King, the, the, the King Meister, I think is one of them, maybe. He might have left, I don't know. You know, he's laying in bed, maybe he fell asleep. That's okay if you did. I ain't hate nobody. I want to change my music. I don't know what to listen to right now. Okay, um, the next panel is, I think we're gonna do this one. Yeah. Okay, give me one second. I should sharpen this little, this little part. Um, Okay, we're gonna, we've been listening to this a lot. We're gonna change this up. Um, I do like this a lot. What should we do? Okay. The first time you dress something is the hardest. Oh yeah, dude. Who you tell? Big time, dude. Big time. Big, big, big time. Okay, here we go. Uh, now we're doing a close up of this booth. What am I doing? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna start drawing, drawing shit. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna go like this. Is that enough space to what I want to show? Maybe not. Let me see here. I kind of want to show that one that's like the, uh, yeah, hang on. Let me, uh, blah, blah, blah. Where's my ruler? Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. That's very sweet. That's very nice of you to just go look at it. A lot of, some of the Patreon stuff is free, so. Don't worry about spending a dollar on it, um, you know, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, I appreciate you. I I'm hoping that it's clear, you know. That's really what, you know, people like Toth that I really appreciate is all about is like clarity and communicating. 
So as long as you can communicate clearly, you know, what's going on, then you did a great job. So I appreciate you saying that because that's like the number one thing I'm trying to do. I'm not a draftsman. I want to be a draftsman. I'm, I'm doing a lot of drawing so that I can be a better draftsman. Um, but what I really want to learn is, you know, this, just the storytelling, the page composition, you know, and being able to like communicate properly. And then the draftsman really is just more of a technical set of skills that, that you gain, you know, that, um, that you can just develop. But that's, I appreciate you saying that though. Gonna do a little bit of that there. Okay. Um, and then, <laughs> okay. Yeah, in case you can't see this, this does say Dookie Birds. So there, <laughs> this is this is something that to me is hilarious. You know, when you go to craft fairs, especially like in the '80s in the South, you'll just meet these people who do some weird ass stuff, just like weird crafts. I mean, it's a crafts fair, right? So it's just people who are making weird crafts. Well. There was a guy, I remember this, like, I remember it, like, I'll always remember this. There was a guy who made sculptures using cow patties. If you don't know what a cow patty is, because you're not from the States, or just, you don't know. A cow patty is poop. It's, is it's manure. It's like a cow, cow, a cow patty is like, uh, uh, cow poop. And so, um... There was a guy who made these things called Dookie Birds. And basically it was just um, bird bird sculptures made out of poop. And uh, <laughs> so I gotta put this in the condom, man. I gotta, I don't have a choice. You gotta understand, I don't have an option. This is not, it's not optional. <laughs> so yeah, we're putting in the Dookie Bird um, the <laughs> keyboard thing is, I just found it so freaking funny. And we're gonna keep the tree, we gotta put trees in here too. Always put a tree in. Really give it that like natural flavor. Um, but yeah, dude, you gotta put the dookie bird. So we're putting a dookie bird in this. It's it's pretty insane. But okay. Uh, is this now? Is this panel go? Oh, it doesn't bleed out. Actually, I might I might change that. I might make this bleed out because I kind of feel like it might be a little nicer to do that that way. So we might we might bleed that out. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have little statues. Okay, so we need to do, we need to draw the guy. And what did we, how did we draw him? I think, yeah, that's kind of a weird troglodyte guy. Big ears. Dookie sculptures. Yay. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm serious. It's made out of poop. I mean, it's just all about like doing something kind of ridiculous. That's all craft fairs are. So this guy would freaking sell poop sculptures, dude. I mean, you could Google it. I'm sure you'll find like that. It's just like, it's a Southern thing. It's like a Southern like, 
you know, weird weirdness. I don't know, but I have to I have to put it in here. Uh, I think his height is a little wrong. I'm gonna have to. I don't know what I'll do, but that, that arm is off. We'll we'll deal with that later. Okay, and then my main characters. I gotta do my main characters there too. Oh, I don't. I thought I had some pictures of them, but we're not gonna just. I'm just gonna just free free ball it here. <laughs> Maybe that's not the right term. We're not free balling anything. We're just drawing. <laughs> Hang on, Salazar. Getting late, I know, but just relax here. <laughs> free, free, free something. Yeah, this dude. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. I think that's a, that's all I really need before I go into. Did we are we giving her shorts? I don't remember. I think we we've got to. This is summertime in Arkansas. Yeah, we gotta give her shorts. I didn't I didn't design costumes for this scene at all because I just like. Besides their hats that I did, we're not doing no much more than that. Um, trying to decide if I should go into this more or not, or just go on the next page. Let's go to the next page. I could just some other time. How are we doing on time? We're we're jamming on time. Okay, so we did page two, page three. We're on page four. Page freaking four. Okay, here we go. We got this. Thanks for watching, everybody, again. This is Andres. We are at the Art of Comics. We're making comics live. We're like, this is what you do. You first, here's the steps. Step one, for those of you who didn't see the beginning, step one, you write a script. Step two, you know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> step two, you do thumbnails. You compose your page and the, compose the panels inside the page in some sort of little thumbnail. Step three, we're gonna transfer that to this. Step four, 
we're gonna refine the pencil work with real pencils. Step five, you ink it. You either ink it on the paper or you scan it and you ink it digitally. And step six is uh, optional, which is you, um, wait, what I, you color it. If you wanna color it, color it. If you're not, black and white is fine. And skip eight, which is the one that everyone really doesn't spend any time on, myself included, although it's very important. You uh, do the words, you do the dialogue, you do the word balloons and all that business, which is an art form that everyone overlooks, including myself. I'm guilty of it. And then I guess step eight would be uh, you find out a way to print the bastard and give it to people or sell it, which is uh, the hardest part, probably, the marketing part of it. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, this is where we've got these little shots now. So Kingdom, uh, King, where are you from? Are you, uh, are you West Coast, East Coast? Are you in the States? Are you in another country? Um, cause, uh, it's almost one o'clock here. So I'm curious what time it is over there where you're at. Uh, hopefully you're not East Coast cause then it'd be really damn late. And then I would say, you need to go to bed, brother. You're going to be hating life tomorrow if you're East Coast. Okay. He's Massachusetts. Oh yeah, you are, dude. You're East Coast in it. You know, I went to Massachusetts once. I was in Boston. Uh, yeah, it's 4 a.m., dude. Dang, bro. I went to Boston. I really had a good time. You know, I did the Freedom Trail and all that stuff. 
Uh, I was only there for like a day. I was traveling to Vermont. Or no, wait a minute, no. Was it New Hampshire? Where was it? It was New Hampshire. And uh, a business. And so I flew in from, you know, flew into Boston and drove up New Hampshire for a business meeting and then flew back. Uh, so I didn't have any time. I didn't, you know, didn't get to do anything fun, but just that one night. And it was winter uh, and there was snow on the ground. But I had a blast uh, going on the Freedom Trail at night and seeing the city for just a, a little bit I did. I got to get, a, you know, I got one of those like a lobster rolls, you know, all that kind of touristy crap. But uh, I would love to uh, spend some real time there. I thought, I thought it was kind of a cool, cool little place. I like stuff with history. So Boston, you know, of course, is definitely a place. Okay. Oh, dude, that sucks. Sleep is important though, bro. It's like, I hope you can get it back. Cause uh, in fact, it's almost one. I'm gonna have to kill this sometime because I have family and I got chores to do like a damn 14 year old kid nowadays. And it's like, I can't be staying up and not having consequences. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it sucks, man. It's like. Why do I gotta do? Yeah, I get co I get consequences. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, freaking marriage, man. It's like, so I got a wife who's just really hardcore into like family cleaning and that kind of jazz. So I gotta freaking clean up this place. It's not even that bad, but you know, she comes from a very clean home, so. There'll be some expectations of my ass doing some stuff like normal. So if I stay up too late, I'll be freaking paying the price for it. And my baby daughter, she'll be coming in and waking us up because she's just like, could give a crap, you know. This is what it is. As I get older, I find you miss some sleep and there is no catching up. It's gone forever. Yeah, dude. I think uh, you're right on that. It is gone forever. That's very true. change it to some classical music. Just to kind of get a little bit more tranquilo. Okay, and I'm about to, maybe we'll kill this right at one. We'll do it right at one, so in four minutes. Four minutes, your last call for whatever you're wanting to do with me. Tell me what to draw or something. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe next time we'll do, we'll do like a, uh, 
super chat me or just tell me what you want me to draw and I'll draw something half-assedly. Maybe we'll do something like that. That might be kind of fun. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if anybody would care enough, but that'd be kind of fun. It'd be cool to like send them out. I would like to do something like that, like draw something for people and then like mail them, but mailing just costs so much damn money nowadays. But that would be kind of fun to like mail out stuff. If I had a few bucks. This is a kind of a close-up of the guy, the Dookie Man. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be called the Dookie Man, but you know what I mean. The guy making the Dookie Birds, and he's like. Something like that. Should I be a hand model? I don't know. I'll get it. My hands. Because you see my hands a lot. I wonder if I need to do something about that. Okay. Okay, maybe that's a little too, I don't know. Now I feel like it's kind of boring. Just a close up of his face. And he's like, you like my dookies, you know? Uh, but in a way it's kind of neat, we'll see. Okay, last one, last panel, let's do this. Okay, we don't have much time. We're gonna do this in two minutes. Can I do it? Uh, this is drawing a big old, big old breast, okay? Can I do that? Well, hopefully. Big old, big old booby. Wonderful, luscious. Okay. I don't know if that works. That's too big. I don't know. They're like, no such thing, sir. <laughs> and then Andy's right here. It's kind of hiding. Kind of like that thing kids do, the hide from hide behind mama's skirts. I don't know if that works though. I don't know. I'm questioning. Sometimes I question my my ideas. See, when you do it small, it looks kind of a cool idea. You're like, oh yeah, you know? But then when you draw it big, you're like, ah, I don't know if that's working. You're like, ah, I don't know if that's working, bro. Some of this is not working at all. My, um, yeah, we're going to work on this. Right? 
I do that, my eyes are off now. Yeah, I'm reworking. I'm working this blue so much. I'm gonna have to probably just go in normal pencil. Okay, it is 101. So, ladies and gentlemen. That is the it. That is it for the day. I'm even going to turn my camera around so you can see me. I don't know. If you, can you see me? Let me see here. Hey, guys. Can you see me? Oh, there you can. Can you? Yeah, you can. Thanks all for watching. Appreciate you guys all. Anything exciting back there? Not really. Uh, thanks for watching. And it's 1 o'clock. It's time for me to go Betty Bye. Appreciate you, King. Check out the Patreon. Check out all that stuff. Subscribe tomorrow or today <laughs> uh, really excited about my next video uh, commentary on a mobius documentary from bbc so you're gonna go to the documentary on bbc by about mobius it's like an hour and then you're gonna listen to the youtube video of me and ariel talk about it. it's gonna be fun so it's a little little commentary track i thought that'd be cool um and then next week, a bunch of videos. Anyway, I'm starting to fade, starting to feel it. So thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys next time. Keep making comics, tell your story, all that kind of jazz. Later. Bye. Boop-a-doop-boop. -boop.